you know, one out of three people will deal with cancer one way or another in their lifetime. Uh, and so everybody has either been personally affected by it or a family member's been affected by it or they know someone close to them who ha is either living with cancer or who has died of cancer. When Arkansas Cancer Coalition talks, a lot of people listen to it because they know that it is the it is the multiplier of voices. It's not a single voice crying out in the wilderness. It, it is the magnified voice of a lot of groups who come together and said consensibly, this is what we want in the fight against cancer. Really, the coalition exists to provide a forum for all of our cancer partners to come together and dialogue and uh, share information, share resources, talk about their current projects and uh, learn innovative ways to collaborate with another partner. Well, the American Cancer Society it, and ACC, or Arkansas Cancer Coalition, are in, in some ways are sister organizations in that we both care about eliminating cancer as a chronic, major chronic disease, period. And the wonderful thing about the Arkansas Cancer Coalition is, is that it is the umbrella that allows not just the American Cancer Society, but all of our other partners that are in the fight for different cancers to come together under the same tent and have a conversation. I mean, every partner has some stake in this, and every partner can make a change at each level, because what we're seeing is that we want to educate people. We want people to have choices. We don't want people to be without. We want people to get good care. And we're going to do something about it. So we're going to come together as a group and make that change. And that's what the coalition has done. Because when you look specifically at what each partner brings to the table and what we could do as a team versus any one individual is so um, much more impactful. This is something that once you get to work in and you get to help people do what they know needs to be done next, and I'm talking about healthcare providers and service providers and policy makers and public health professionals. When you can facilitate what they know needs to be done, then you make difference, a difference in communities. So if you see a plan come together and you see um, you know, a positive outcome because you were able to tell partner A to talk to partner B and they actually sat down at the table and you know collaborated and you know they mobilized their employees to respond and act and you see the outcome that you know 20 additional people got screened because you had partner A and partner B together then you've done your job. Particularly for me in my role with the American Cancer Society uh, their win is my win so you know if they succeed then I succeed as far as pushing public policy in the right direction. The thing that really excites me the most about this work is how you can talk to people that have been doing public health or providing a health service for years that have never been given the resources or the freedom to do what they knew was the right thing to do. This coalition, Comprehensive Cancer, is a way to give some of those people the resources that they need to follow through with what they know is the right thing to do. You know, when you talk about the coalition, I'm so passionate about it because I've seen the growth over the past years. And I've seen how so many people have come together for one common cause. And, and I think in tackling this issue of cancer, I'm glad I'm a part of the Arkansas Cancer Coalition because I have a group of people and a group of partnerships that are willing to work with me to help make change for the state.